Chicago's very own WGN News at 9. And I thought, oh my God, it's like a war scene. That's how it seemed to me, like a war scene. Well, the latest victim of Chicago's criminal street gangs is a Chicago police officer. Good evening, I'm Steve Sanders. And I'm Allison Payne. WGN's Juan Carlos Manjul is live at Northwestern Hospital where the officer was taken tonight. Juan Carlos, what can you tell us about his condition? Well, Allison, that officer was just released late this evening here from Northwestern Memorial. He may have to come back, though, and have surgery done on his wrist. That's where he was shot. This is fellow police officers tonight continue looking for the gunmen. Everybody was panicking in the building. Jose Vasquez saw it all from his second floor window overlooking division at Campbell. An officer down shot right before his eyes. So when I see the officer came down, the other officer covered him. You know, he was giving his life for him. He covered him, touched the car. And then the other members started running and shooting back to the other gang. It was indeed a gang brawl, the police say. A mix of Clemente High School students and alleged gang members getting in a fight. The 36-year-old 14th District Officer, who's normally assigned to the school, responding to the scene a block and a half away with his partner around 3 p.m. They were uh, out of their car breaking up uh, a disturbance uh, amongst some rival gang members when all of a sudden five or six shots rang out. He was rushed to Northwestern Memorial as officers and detectives swarmed the area looking for suspects. <laughs> Cops were armed with high-powered weapons. Some were looking on roofs. A team of police dogs also present. We saw at least one man in handcuffs being taken away for questioning. And I called 911 and reported the shooting to the police. Attorney Melinda Power heard the terrifying shots. As a manhunt ensued in the heart of Humboldt Park, she was paralyzed in her own office. And I said, oh my God, I think somebody's just been shot or there's shooting happening outside my office. I have to stop talking on the phone. So I had to hang up. Residents say gang violence is nothing new here. The 26 ward alderman Billy Ocasio is trying to change that, saying a camera had already been ordered for that same intersection prior to the shooting. But we've also installed two other cameras over on Division and Western. Uh, back in July, two cameras were installed there. New, uh, more patrol was added at Clemente High School and more patrol was added on the street as students were coming out. And we are told police detectives have interviewed several people right now. However, they have not arrested anyone. It appears, though, they know who they are looking for. Reporting live from Northwestern, Juan Carlos Fanjul, WGN News. New developments tonight into what may have led to that downtown law office shooting last week. WGN's Fred Shropshire in our newsroom now with the very latest. Fred. Steve, those uh, developments coming to us within the hour. Documents obtained from the Chicago Tribune are the first concrete evidence that gunman Joe Jackson had contact with patent lawyer Michael McKenna. One document is a four-page complaint to the Invention Submission Corporation, which includes a drawing of Jackson's idea. According to documents obtained by the Chicago Tribune, meetings between Joe Jackson and Michael McKenna date back to February 18, 2002. A letter written by Jackson shows he set up the appointment with McKenna's secretary days earlier. Documents from McKenna's office show he gave Jackson a free evaluation of his idea and an estimate on the total cost to file a patent. This is a sketch of Jackson's idea, a portable toilet designed to be used by long-haul truck drivers and passenger vans. A preliminary novelty search by McKenna turned up a number of similar patents. The search cost Jackson $825. The idea never got off the ground. A year later, Jackson wrote a letter claiming his patent was stolen and issued to someone else. He said, quote, I feel with no uncertainty that he sold or stole my project. Wood, Phillips, Katz, Clark, and Mortimer is where Joe Jackson opened fire last Friday afternoon, killing three before being sniped by police. Michael McKenna, Alan Hoover, and Paul Goodson were killed. Last night, friends and family members told WGN News that Jackson paid McKenna $5,000 as a retainer. But the documents uncovered so far today show only an $825 payment. You can read more about what's in these documents in tomorrow morning's Chicago Tribune. Live from the newsroom, Fred Shropshire, WGN News. All right, Fred, thank you. Mayor Daley made it official today. He will seek a sixth term in office for those who thought he might be sidelined by the ongoing investigation at City Hall or his wife's battle with breast cancer. Daley had his answer. Today, I'm here to answer with all my heart and soul and compassion. The answer is yes. 
with the usual backdrop of community leaders, power players, and his wife Maggie by his side, Mayor Daly announced today he is going for a sixth term. I have more to give to keep Chicago moving forward. I am a candidate for mayor of the great city of Chicago. The mayor used the occasion to talk about what he considers his major accomplishments and how he's brought the city forward. I am proud of what we've accomplished together to improve the lives of the people of Chicago. Chicago is a better, stronger place to live, work, and raise a family. Going into this race, the mayor has two less formidable candidates to fight. Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr. and Luis Gutierrez both recently announced they weren't running against him. But Daly still faces Circuit Court Clerk Dorothy Brown and community activist Bill Doc Walls. Both say the ongoing corruption investigation at City Hall should make Daly vulnerable with voters. The city has been plagued with corruption and crime for over 17 years, and it's time for it all to end. I don't know how formidable he's going to be now that the federal government has stopped him from using city government as though it's his own political army. Several of the mayor's longtime associates, including former Patchnitz Chief Robert Storage, have been convicted in the investigations at City Hall, but the mayor took responsibility today. The best way to show responsibility is to address the problems directly, so the mistakes of the past won't be repeated. Immediately after his press conference, the mayor stopped by Lou Mitchell's restaurant. How are you? Hello. Shaking hands with the people, a sure sign the campaign is underway. Daly was first elected in 1989. If he wins another term and finishes it, he will have served 22 years, just a few months longer than the record held by his father, Richard J. Daly. Candidates for city clerk, treasurer, and aldermen are also starting to file their nomination papers. Candidates who got their petitions in this morning will be entered into a lottery for a ballot position. Names will be drawn on the 21st. Candidates who missed today's deadline will be listed in the order that they filed. A Democratic congressman is giving a run for the White House another try. Ohio Congressman Dennis Kucinich is launching a 2008 presidential bid. Kucinich unsuccessfully ran for president in 2004. He says he decided to run again because he disagrees with how some fellow Democrats are handling Iraq. Kucinich is about to start a sixth term in the House and served as Cleveland's mayor in the 1970s. Will she or won't she? Hillary Clinton is still keeping quiet about a possible presidential candidacy, at least for now. The New York senator did confirm today that she is talking with people about a possible run, but says she has not decided whether to form a presidential exploratory committee yet. Clinton says she will make a formal announcement after the new year. President Bush begins a listening tour as he tries to formulate a possible change of course in Iraq. Health concerns have the world's largest cruise ship undergoing the world's largest cruise ship cleaning. More people are being discovered contaminated with the same radioactive substance that killed a former Russian spy. And Tom Skilling is in the WGN Weather Center keeping an eye on the rain moving through our area. Hey, Tom, how long will that rain last? You're watching WGN News at 9 with Steve Sanders, Allison Payne, Tom Skilling, and Dan Rohn. This is Chicago's very own WGN News at 9. Superstation WGN makes it great to be home for the holidays with great programming all season long. Keep your season bright with our hilarious comedies. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Remember, there's only two shopping weeks left and the holidays are near. Now you can make someone in your life feel special with these great gift ideas from Sears. It's fun for the whole family. Your holiday starts here. Sears. Barely speak. Sore throat so painful. I need something stronger. Introducing new Sepacol Sore Throat plus Coating Relief Lozenges. No drop can do all this. Only new Sepacol bathes your throat with two medicines. Maximum pain numbing relief plus a proven protectant for inflamed throat tissue. Yes, my throat is much better. Karaoke tonight? Run! New Sepacol plus Coating Relief Lozenges. Stronger medicine ends your sore throat emergency. Man has always been fascinated with traveling back in time. Well, now Sprint has actually moved the unlimited calling time back two hours from 9 p.m. to 7. It's science fiction meets cold, hard economics.
switch to Sprint and get unlimited calls starting at 7 p.m. Sprint, power up. Hurry into a Sprint store and start your holiday shopping early. Choose from our newest lineup of slim, stylish phones so you can take care of everyone on your holiday gift list. Pick up the red Moto Razor and you can get powerful features like live TV, wireless music downloads, GPS, and the power to give back. Because when you purchase the red Moto Razor at a Sprint store, a contribution will be made to help eliminate AIDS in Africa. The power to give the ultimate gift. Sprint. Power up. From stovetops to kitchen floors. A clean, tough dirt and grease with five rejuvenating scents inspired by nature. From Mr. Clean. Two women each frustrated with a tough cleaning problem. Until the day Mr. Clean Extra Power arrived. It outcleans Cape Don grease and stubborn rust. For more information on Mr. Clean Extra Power, go to MrClean.com. You're watching Chicago's very own WGN News at 9. Well, two days after liftoff, the space shuttle Discovery has docked with the International Space Station. Discovery's crew will have a busy week-long stay. It will rewire the orbiting lab and will attach an $11 million two-ton addition to the station. One of the shuttle's seven-member crew, crew will stay behind to replace a German astronaut currently living aboard the space station. Mixed emotions across Chile over the death of former dictator General Augusto Pinochet. Thousands of his supporters turned out for his military-style wake today, waiting for hours in long lines to pay their final respects. Many of them were upset the country's current president didn't declare a national mourning period or give a full state funeral. Meanwhile, opponents of Pinochet celebrating his death in the streets, having been clashing with his supporters and the police, Officers have had to use water cannons and tear gas against the unruly crowds. Dozens of officers have been injured in that violence. Nearly 100 demonstrators have been arrested. New poll numbers out tonight show that the war in Iraq is more unpopular than ever here in the U.S. This as President Bush is promising to find a new way forward. WGN's Grant Rampey at the White House now with more. Grant. Evening, Steve. A few hours ago, the president wrapped up a discussion here with a number of retired generals and historians. He says he is reaching out for ideas. He is, quote, hearing from all aspects of government. Well, thank you the president time. stopping by the State Department to get some more advice on Iraq. More meetings are still to come this week. Via teleconference with his war commanders Tuesday, later with Iraq's vice president, then with Donald Rumsfeld and top leaders at the Pentagon on Wednesday. I'm looking forward to continuing my deliberations. He's talking and thinking as the country waits to see how and when he'll change direction. A new CBS poll finds that a record 75% of the American public now disapproves of his handling of the war. The Baker Hamilton Commission's report has been out for a week. It calls for a new strategy. Still, the president's repeating some of his old lines. We understand success in Iraq will help protect the United States in the long run. The cost of leaving short of victory could be utterly catastrophic. Talk like that has some critics worried that the new way forward, likely to be laid out in a big speech to the nation before the end of the year, is going to look and sound a lot like the old way. It seems to me the president is not likely to change course. This is really the calling of our time that is to defeat these extremists and radicals, and Iraq is a component part, an important part of uh, laying the foundation for peace. Two factors that may hasten the president's unveiling of a new policy. In a little less than a month, Democrats take over in Congress. And at about the same time, the number of U.S. deaths in Iraq could top the 3,000 mark. Live at the White House, Grant Rampey, WGN News. Thank you, Grant. Outgoing U.N. Secretary General Kofi Annan had some strong words for the U.S. in his last major speech today at the Truman Presidential Library in Missouri. Anand urged the U.S. to stop what he called a go-it-alone diplomacy and human rights abuses committed in the name of the war on terror. Anand also said a show of force should only be used when the world community supports it. When power, especially military forces, is used, the world will consider it legitimate only when convinced that it is used and is being used for the right purpose. Ban Ki-moon of South Korea will take over when Anand steps down at the end of the month. London police say two British officers investigating the death of an ex-Russian spy have tested positive for the same radioactive substance that killed the spy. 
former KGB spy Alexander Litvinenko died last month after being poisoned by polonium-210. Before that, he'd met with two other former Russian spies at a London hotel, the Millennium Hotel you just saw there. Several others, including Litvinenko's widow and seven hotel employees, tested positive for low levels of radiation. When conventional medicine can't heal, some patients may soon be able to get some unconventional help. You won't see cigarette-style warning labels on diet books anytime soon. And for the third year in a row, the Super Bowl halftime show will be straight out of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This is my candle shop. I love scented candles. But with kids and dogs, using them isn't always that convenient. That's why I love my Febreze Scent Stories. Each Febreze Scent Stories disc has a collection of candle-like scents you can use over and over. Refreshing scents fill the room fast, and it shuts itself off automatically, so you don't have to. This year, give the convenience of candle-like scents with no matches required. Go online for a $10 coupon to get Febreze Scent Stories for as low as $14.99. Rachel Ray here, and I'm just topping off my holiday mushroom dip with some toasted almonds, and now we're going to surround it with some Triscuits. Where are the Triscuits? Look for more of Rachel's recipes on Nabisco Holiday Boxes. To wipe out a big cold, immerse yourself in total cold relief with Alka-Seltzer Plus. It speeds relief to every inch of you. Liquidate your big cold with Alka-Seltzer Plus. Who is on your list? My son. What is he into? Sitting. I'm going to have to put my thinking cap on for that one. <laughs> Find leather chairs and other unexpected gifts at Staples. Mr. Nibbles thinks you should get your wife a laptop. He's a reindeer. What does he know about laptops? Never question, Mr. Nibbles. Get a Lenovo laptop, just $549.99 at the Department of Unexpected Gifts. Staples. Sponge it. Erase it with Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Visit MrClean.com for details on how you can save over $37 on your favorite home care cleaning products. Greg Barrett, weekdays on Superstation WGA. I'm just like you. I work hard every day. Back pain or not, because I get big relief from the Icy Hot Back Patch. Bigger than many ordinary patches, first it's icy to dull the pain, then hot to relax it away. The Icy Hot Back Patch. Count on it. Join the Rentway family. Your satisfaction is my personal guarantee. We are family. You're watching Chicago's very own WGN News at 9. Two people were hurt, one seriously after a bizarre accident at a car wash in the city's uptown neighborhood. A car came off the line at the National Car Wash near Broadway and West Ainsley, hitting a delivery person. One person had to go to the hospital in critical condition. The accident is under investigation. Well, the Wheaton Bandit is back, and police say they need your help to catch him. Take a close look at this FBI sketch. Witnesses say the suspect is a white man as tall as six foot four with blue eyes. Police say his last robbery happened December 7th in Glen Ellen. Investigators say he has held up 16 banks in the west suburbs over the last five years. Now they're offering a $45,000 reward. He usually orders everyone to the floor, with the exception of one employee who he directs to remove money from the teller drawers. In some of the recent robberies, the Wheaton, Bain, uh, the Wheaton Bandit has ordered bank employees to wait at least five minutes before contacting the police. He has threatened to come back and shoot the employees should they contact the police sooner. Investigators say the Wheaton Bandit always carries a weapon and uses a police scanner. They also say he may wear body armor and may have some type of law enforcement or military background. If you know anything about this guy, you are urged to call the FBI at 630-577-3464. Another settlement for one of the four men wrongfully convicted in the murder of a Rush medical student back in 1986. 
The Chicago City Council's Finance Committee voted to award $900,000 to Marcellius Bradford. Bradford served six years behind bars. His conviction was tossed out in 2001 when DNA tests showed he did not take part in the murder of Lori Rossetti. In 2004, two men pleaded guilty to the murder. A federal judge is tired of playing games with the Blagojevich administration. He's ordered the state to tell him how it intends to pay a half million dollar debt owed to the video game industry. A law that barred selling violent or explicit games to minors was ruled unconstitutional last year, but the state still hasn't paid its debt. The judge wants an answer next week. The illegal immigrant taking refuge in a West Side church issues a challenge in the fight for immigration rights. Elvira Ariano is calling on President Bush to issue a temporary restraining order on some deportations. She wants people to pray for family unity for the next 100 days. And Ariano wants the new congressional Democratic leadership to convene to study solutions for immigration. Chicago public housing residents wanting more say in their communities took their complaints downtown this morning. About 100 people protested here outside the Housing and Urban Development Office in the Loop. They say residents and their elected tenants council are excluded from decisions about the rehab of units, the relocation and redevelopment. They say they have asked the Department of Housing and Urban Development to intervene on their behalf before, but they say HUD has failed to respond. HUD has found a way to ignore the residents and only pay attention to the management and the authority. But the residents are the people that HUD has to serve, and we demand that HUD serve the residents that are on their property today. No protesters presented HUD with a list of demands and letters from public housing residents. HUD says it has agreed to set up a meeting between the regional director and residents. Can you sue a diet? A judge weighs in on the claims against Atkins. Counting your brothers and sisters could calculate your risk for getting a brain tumor. And something about this high-speed chase stinks. from WGN-TV Chicago, the official drawing of the Illinois Lottery. Good evening, everyone. I'm Melinda Colmeyer with your winning lottery numbers for Monday, December 11th, 2006. I wish you the best of luck. Let's go. The first game, take three. The first lucky number, three. Followed by the second number, seven. And your third and final, pick three, four to nine. Nine. That makes the winning for three numbers for tonight. Three, seven, nine. And I know you recognize this. It's the Green Ball Double Draw, the game that gives you another chance to win. Green Ball comes up, we'll have a bonus player pick three. Each time White Ball comes up, we'll take it out, giving you better odds next time. Good luck. White. But your odds are better next time. Let's move on to pick four. If you're having the most wonderful day, I hope you go to a job, a career that you love, you're passionate about. That in itself is a great gift. Back to pick four. First lucky number is six. Followed by the second number. Nine. Your third lucky number for tonight is nine. And the fourth time final pick four. Nine. That makes the winning pick four numbers for tonight. Six, nine, nine, nine. It's a little out of time to jackpot the $100,000. We've got lots of games. I hope you're ready for all of them. First winning little lot of number for tonight, 18, the second 22, the third 17, followed by the fourth, 37 and the fifth and final little lot of number, 34, that makes the winning little lot of numbers for tonight, 18, 22, 17, 37 and 34. Okay, it's a lot of time, jackpot, five and a half million dollars. What a great way to roll into the holidays. The first winning lotto number is 21, the second, 48. Your third, 44, followed by the fourth. 46, the fifth. 43 and the sixth and final lotto number, 
30. That makes the winning lot of numbers for tonight. 21, 48, 44, 46, 43, and 30. Mega Millions is $22 million. Get yourself a ticket for tomorrow night. I'm Linda Colmar. Good luck and good night. Tonight's lottery drawing was brought to you by WGN-TV and was supervised by the accounting firm of Altshuler, Melvoin, and Glasser. The Atkins diet is protected by the First Amendment. That ruling from a judge in South Florida. A man from Delray Beach blames the low-carb meal plan for his heart troubles. Jody Gorin says his cholesterol went from 146 to 230 after six months on the diet. He also had to undergo angioplasty. Moran wanted the judge to order warning labels be put on the Atkins books and other related merchandise, but the judge said a book about the diet was not an advertisement for products. A helicopter that is meant to take injured people to the hospital crashes in California, killing a pilot and two crew members. The medevac plunged to the ground late last night. No patients were on board. Witnesses say they noticed the helicopter was having problems just before it went down. The FAA says fog may have had something to do with the crash. Two separate cruise ships are undergoing top-to-bottom cleaning after 200 passengers became sick. This is the second time in recent weeks the Royal Caribbean's freedom of the seas has had to be scrubbed down. This time, 100 people came down with norovirus. Uh, late last uh, month, more than 380 passengers and crew became sick aboard the ship. 100 passengers aboard Princess Cruises. The Sun Princess also contracted norovirus. Police cameras were rolling as officers chased down a suspect who stole a garbage truck. This high-speed drama unfolded near Orlando, Florida. Police say the man refused to stop, even after police used metal spikes to blow out his front tires. The suspect then drove for nine miles on just rims. Officers finally caught up with him after he blew through the security gate of an upscale neighborhood and got stuck in the mud while trying to drive into a lake. Chicago has gone from Flurry to foggy. Tom Skilling tells us how wet it's going to get. Just a week before Paris Hilton is due in court on drunken driving charges, Nicole Ritchie gets hit with DUI charges of her own. If your child was born with cerebral palsy, brain damage, or other disabilities, the hospital and doctors may not have told you the truth about what really happened. As a concerned parent, you're wondering whose fault it was if a financial recovery is available, and what the time deadlines are to file a claim. I'm attorney Chuck Baldwin, and if you're looking for answers to these questions, call 1-800-BABY-LAW for your free consultation. Balkan and Icebrook, making things right for over 35 years. 1-800-BABY-LAW. If I had ice cream, it would be like a shockwave, like a lightning bolt. If you're one of the many people who suffer from painful tooth sensitivity, you need to know about Origel Tooth Desensitizer. Just one treatment relieves painful tooth sensitivity for a whole month. I had been using Sensodyne toothpaste, and I switched over to Origel Tooth Desensitizer. I had no pain whatsoever. It was like a miracle. Go to SensitivityGone.com for the facts about Origel Tooth Desensitizer. Swab it on, Sensitivity Gone. This product worked. It worked 100%. just find it impossible to go to bed angry. Introducing new Tide Simple Pleasures, a laundry detergent with naturally inspired essences of lavender and vanilla to calm, relax, and perhaps change your mood. Tide knows fabrics best. Choose from a variety of scents. Enjoy vanilla and lavender, water lily and jasmine, and rose and violet. Sorry, <clears throat> can barely speak. Sore throat so painful. I need something stronger. Introducing new Sepacol Sore Throat plus Coating Relief Lozenges. No drop can do all this. Only new Sepacol bathes your throat with two medicines. Maximum pain numbing relief plus a proven protectant for inflamed throat tissue. Yes, my throat is much better. Karaoke tonight? We're on. New Sepacol plus Coating Relief Lozenges. Stronger medicine ends your sore throat emergency. WGN News is sponsored in part by Fungicure. Fungicure kills fungus that can infect healthy nails. Fungicure's brush targets fungus around and under nails with powerful antifungal medicine. Fungicure, the finger and toe fungi specialist. And for athlete's foot, try new instant dry Fungicure pump spray liquid. There's a new way to fight a big cold. Immerse yourself in total cold relief 
with new Alka-Seltzer Plus Liquid. It speeds relief to every inch of you. Liquidate your big cold with new Alka-Seltzer Plus Liquid. Another Chicago landmark is now a glow with holiday lights. Lieutenant Governor Pat Quinn lifts a 25-foot tree at the top of the Senate. Several military families joining him. Mm -hmm. Quinn says it is important to remember Illinois service members who are spending the holidays away from home. State leaders also ask for donations for the Keep Our Kids Warm and Safe campaign. This is an annual drive to get car seats and clothing for kids in need. You know, good, it's so, good cause. Yeah, it is a good cause, yeah. but it's so interesting how warm it is. Like, it's fascinating. It you really know, is. You, you, you think you need boots, heavy coats, and we've got a string of warm temperatures. We, we've got at least uh, seven consecutive 40 degree plus days. In fact, tomorrow, Allison and Steve, I think we'll hit 50, and we may do that again before the week's over. Uh, it is going to be so mild tomorrow that we may do what the folks in uh, Nebraska saw the weather do today, and that is produce a thunderstorm near Fall City, not far from Omaha. Uh, they had uh, three-quarter inch diameter hail today in some of the thunderstorms that occurred. And uh, we checked, the last time we've had a December thunderstorm in Chicago was way back uh, four years ago in 2003. So uh, it, uh, only 3% of our annual 38 or so annual thunderstorm days occur in December. And yet tomorrow may be one of them in some parts of our area. There's been a flood of warm air, and this has been kind of a two-pronged attack that Mother Nature has launched on the cold air that has produced up to this point the 17th coldest uh, December open on record here going back 135 years. So this is a dramatic turnaround. And the corridor of moisture is lighting up the radar screens tonight because that's where it's raining. And you'll see some embedded little yellow spots indicating taller clouds, uh, better reflectivity. Uh, lots of fog forming tonight, too. This is particularly true as you go west of us, where there still is a fair amount of snow on the ground out at DeKalb, for instance, where almost 13 inches of snow was on the ground in the wake of that snowstorm, uh, oh, about a week and a half ago. They're down to about two and a half, three inches, and similar declines have been seen elsewhere. In fact, at Midway Airport, our Frank Wachowski reports no snow at all, but you can see all the fog advisories as the warm air from the Gulf of Mexico and these 50-degree dew points already in downstate Illinois surge up over the 32-degree snow cover, which takes you right down to the dew point and 100% humidity. That's why places like DuPage and Aurora and DeKalb and Rockford uh, have lower visibilities than most of the metro area, and you can see where the ground is open. There's uh, haze, to be sure, and light fog, but not the low visibilities we see elsewhere. It's 45 at Midway tonight, 42 at O'Hare at a time of the year with 35 as the normal high. And those readings practically hug the dew point, so the humidities are uh, right up there. The air is saturated, as we say in the meteorological profession. That plus light southeast winds, they're steady but light, and light winds throughout the Midwest will make this a far-reaching fog event for many of you traveling, but the heaviest fog will be in that corridor that still has the most snow on the ground, and that increasingly is our west and northern suburbs. Winds are south at 10, the humidity nearly 100% now, with the dew point at 41 degrees. Here's a look at the rains that have been spreading northward. Uh, we got computer forecasts of between a quarter to a half an inch of rain average across the area. And here you can see in this 24-hour weather flight review, the rain spreading northward. They've been coming down in our southern suburbs, but increasingly they'll spread up over the city and from time to time include a thunderstorm in parts of the area. Doppler radar shows the heaviest rains have been down closest to the moisture source in parts of Texas and Louisiana. But again, there's enough to measure, as you can see, particularly in our southern and southeastern suburbs, uh, over a tenth of an inch down at Midway Airport. And here's the upper air trough right there that'll lift up. This is a little cool air aloft. Comes right over us tomorrow, enhances the lift, and takes some of this moisture and turns it into rain, particularly when we get it just on the left side of that jet. Then as it goes by, we'll get Pacific air to kind of break the clouds up on Wednesday, and uh, a mild end of the week is, in for it is forecast here. There's our little low. The jet stream pushes up here, and then here comes the mild Pacific air. With no sign the Arctic is recharging with major amounts of uh, cold air, until we get into next week when a moderate cool down is expected. Uh, that will start beyond our seven-day period, say Tuesday and Wednesday next week, and there could be some real Arctic air back into the area again by the end of the month. Uh, this would be just beyond, uh, say, the 25th uh, Christmas in this area, but you can see the big range of RPM models forecasting and how most of the snows are staying out west with a whole series of western weather systems. They had 60 to 80 mile an hour winds up and down the 
Pacific Northwest coast that have downed trees and power lines and brought heavy rains to that area and unseasonably mild temperatures, and that's the starting point for the storms that come across into our part of the Midwest. So tonight, there's a dense fog advisory in the western counties from Osei, DuPage, Kane, DeKalb, uh, Western Lake, uh, McHenry, uh, Ogle, and Winnebago counties westward with uh, just lighter haze and fog in our city and damp, drizzly weather with periods of rain building in. Temperatures continue to rise. Uh, that's something we haven't seen this time of the year and may get up to 51 tomorrow, back to maybe 55 in Kankakee or down toward Valparaiso where you get south of the snowpack and uh, only low 40s northwest suburb. Periods of rain, maybe a thunderstorm, and uh, those winds will be south-southeast. Tomorrow night, then, rain diminishing, less fog late as winds turn west-northwest and west-southwest, and we'll, we'll shift from Gulf air back to Pacific air. It has a little less moisture, and, and a partly sunny day with the Geminid meteor shower Wednesday night probably visible to us. What thanks kind to of a, meteor shower? It's the Geminid meteor shower, Alice, huh. and it's... it's Was it like 3 in the morning or something? Well, it's been called the best one of the... You can stay oh. up almost most of the night and kind of look uh, out there. Let, let me you know. Will. <laughs> <laughs> let me know how it goes. <laughs> we'll serve our hors d'oeuvres back in the weather office, you know, <laughs> so there's food party, involved. Huh? Okay. That's right, absolutely. So, okay, all right, Allison, you bet. It's a drive-through toy drive, so you <laughs> drive through <laughs> and you drop off your toy. Anna Bellaval, that was the scene last year at the WGN Morning News drive-through toy drive. And if you'd like to help Santa's, our Santa's on the morning show, you can this Friday. The fourth annual morning show toy drive takes place from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m., you can drop off new, unwrapped toys here at the station. Our address is 2501 West Bradley Place. All gifts go to the thousands of kids and teenagers who belong to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Chicago. We'll have Santa, Reindeer, Elvis, and uh, free goodies for those who donate. Yeah, that's something worth getting up for. <laughs> there are two searches going on tonight. One for a woman washed overboard and missing at sea. The other for three mountaineers lost in the cold. Aging can mean shrinking, and for men, getting smaller can mean a bigger risk for some diseases. The Bulls in Action at the United Center highlights coming up in sports. For more information or to see selected news stories, check out WGNTV.com. Living with ulcerative colitis? I'm going six times a day. I had three flares last year. So many pills. I missed my interview. My son's graduation. The stomach pain. I can't stand the steroids. Isn't there anything else we can do? If you're on medications and still flaring, your UC may not be under control. Take the UC control quiz at livingwithuc.com and talk to your gastroenterologist about the results and current treatments. Hi, I'm Carrie. You are great. You know jazz? No. <laughs> On the next, Sex and the City. I'd like to take you out on Saturday night. Well, that's good. What really defines a relationship? Carrie likes her jank ass, man. Jank ass. All right. What do you see in that guy? He knows when to say goodbye. Carrie likes a jazz musician. Bye. Sex and the City. Tonight at 11 Eastern on Superstation WGN. My souvenir from this trip? Back pain. Went from bad to worse. But now I wear this Thermacare heat wrap for eight hours of heat and 16 hours of relief. 16 hours. I could use these every day. And now Thermacare is sponsoring an amazing road trip sweepstakes. Design a dream vacation and win a new Mercedes SUV. Hotel, food, gas, it's all included. So check out Thermacare.com and enter to win. Thermacare. Have heat, road travel. For you. You're going to love this. So, what is it? It's a new Glade Light Show. It's also an air freshener. Wow! An air freshener. Are you saying that my room smells? No, honey. Then what are you saying? Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> new Glade Light Show. See it, smell it, give it. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Open your door to the nut that's been famously fresh and famously fun for 100 years. Planters.
in tonight's Medical Watch why large families may have a greater chance for developing disease. People with four or more siblings are twice as likely to get a brain tumor. The journal Neurology reports on the risk, which goes up for the eldest children. Scientists say since the size of a family correlates with the incidence of brain tumors, they believe infectious agents may be causing the disease. Whatever the disease, if an experimental drug is the only option, you may have an easier time swallowing the pill. The Food and Drug Administration is considering relaxing the rules for experimental medications. If approved, the revised guidelines would allow sick patients to get unapproved drugs when there are no other options for treating serious or life-threatening conditions. A man's height as he ages may be a good measure of whether he'll get a life-threatening condition. Men who shrink about three centimeters are at increased risk of dying from heart disease. Bone, muscle, and joint changes cause men to get shorter as they age, but the Journal of the American Medical Association reports significant height changes affect breathing and digestive function, which ultimately weaken the heart. This information is based on a 20-year study of men ages 40 to 80 years old and following them throughout that time, they realized that. I saw you sitting up a little I straighter oh, when boy. I said that. I want to be taller. <laughs> and I was like, didn't I tell you that last week? Stand up straight. Right. You're so nice and tall. And then maybe we'll keep that good posture and not lose the height. Thank you. We're good. Thank you, Dana. Some people think Nicole Richie is going in a dangerous direction. Those be the people who called 911 about her driving before she was arrested this morning. He's nominated for five Grammys this year, but Prince's biggest honor could come in January in front of 140 million football fans. Don't think she's in quest. Weekdays on Superstation WGN. For you. You're going to love this. So, what is it? It's a new Glade Light Show. It's also an air freshener. Wow, an air freshener. Are you saying that my room smells? No, honey. Then what are you saying? Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> New Glade Light Show. See it, smell it, give it. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Who is on your list? My mother. Does she like junk mail? Uh, no. Neither does this thing. Ooh, that really shreds. The Staples Mill Made Shredder fits on your kitchen counter. Only from the Department of Unexpected Gifts. Mr. Nipples thinks you should get your wife a laptop. He's a reindeer. What does he know about laptops? Never question, Mr. Nipples. Get a Lenovo laptop. Just $549.99 at the Department of Unexpected Gifts. Staples. 22 million Americans suffer the consequences of dry contacts. My lenses feel dry, they feel brittle. I really need some eye drops. Only AccuView Oasis has HydroClear Plus, so the lens stays moist. That's unbelievable. Do your lenses give you comfort from dryness? Go to tryaccuviewoasis.com for a free trial certificate to feel the super moist comfort of HydroClear Plus. Then there's no going back to your old lenses. Guaranteed. Try the next wave in comfort at tryaccuviewoasis.com. We've been together a long time, but I need a change. You're dirty and sloppy, and I feel like we go over the same stuff again and again. And I know it hurts, but I found something better. Drop your mop. Get the improved Swipper Wet Jet. It has a new dirt dissolving solution and a thick textured pad. It leaves your floor cleaner than a mop. Just trap, lock, and toss. Swipper Wet Jet. Pick one up for the holidays. Go online for a $5 coupon. I'm just like you. I work hard every day. Back pain or not, because I get big relief from the Icy Hot Back Patch. Bigger than many ordinary patches, first it's icy to dull the pain, then hot to relax it away. The Icy Hot Back Patch. Count on it. Scrubs, late nights on Superstation WGN. You're watching Chicago's very own WGN News at 9. The U.S. Coast Guard search for the daughter of NHL Hall of Famer Bob Ganey has been suspended. Laura Ganey disappeared during a storm in the Atlantic on Friday. The 25-year-old was working as a volunteer on a training vessel when a two-story wave knocked her overboard. She wasn't wearing a life jacket. The Canadian Coast Guard, which was assisting in the aerial search, also ended its efforts today. Unfavorable weather conditions are making it tough for rescue teams to find three missing climbers in Oregon's Mount Hood. Up to 18 inches of snow expected to fall over the next couple of days, and winds are blowing at 55 miles per hour. 
There's also a high risk of an avalanche. The three climbers were supposed to meet up at a lodge with friends on Friday or Saturday. Well, a frightening turn of events for a Tennessee man enjoying his favorite hobby. The man was exploring some mountains with friends, with five other friends, when he slipped and fell 50 feet into a cave and became trapped. A team of rescuers, paramedics, and volunteer firefighters helped bring the man to safety. The victim's friends say he seemed to be doing okay, but complained about hip and back pain. Ten raging wildfires in Victoria, Australia have burned 60,000 acres and are threatening more than a dozen towns. On the island of Tasmania, flames have scorched more than 7,400 acres and destroyed at least 20 homes. These wildfires are common this time of year in Australia, but since the country is going through its worst drought in more than a century, the fires are of even greater concern. Well, around here, we may have to endure a little uh, rain before the warmer temperatures. Tom Skilling joins us again with our seven-day forecast, Tom. You know, Steve and Allison, by the way, that uh, the, the fire situation in Australia very much uh, linked to the El Nino. Every time you have an El Nino, uh, fires break out in that part of the world because drought spreads across Australia. Well, here in Chicago, drought will be the last thing on our mind the next couple of days as it's damp tonight, quite foggy out the western suburbs. Visibility's under a half a mile and there are dense fog advisories there. A lighter fog in the city, but drizzle builds to rain at time and continues tomorrow with rare uh, December thunderstorms not out of the question. They're occurring now out in parts of Iowa and, and uh, Nebraska, and they produce hail in some areas. But the sun's out on Wednesday and Thursday. As we go into Pacific air, there might be a rain shower Thursday night. Friday's mild and in the 50s, and then Saturday an early shower before skies turn partly sunny. And there'll be a chance of rain Sunday night, Monday, maybe mixed with some precip, uh, like uh, sleet and snow up north. There you see the rain returns and part of a corridor of moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico and lighting up the radar screens with embedded thunderstorms as highs today hit the 70s north to the Oklahoma border with Texas, 50s downstate, and it's that air mass will be in tomorrow. Highs tomorrow will go up about 50 in Chicago. And watch the seven-day forecast. No sign Arctic air is resurgent, at least in that time period. But it looks like, uh, say, Tuesday next week will get colder. Uh, there's the mild air that on Saturday, and there's the mild air with which we start the early part of the week, but cold air diving into the center of the country, and that'll be coming our way. So it should be getting colder as we head toward the, the holiday periods. We have Hanukkah and Christmas and Kwanzaa all coming up, and uh, by the end of this month, it ought to be pretty wintry again around here, but we'll check that when the time comes. We'll enjoy the 50 tomorrow many places. We know. certainly will. If he yeah. doesn't get his uh, white Christmas, he's not a happy family. <laughs> hey, you know what? We had, we had snow last week. We'll take it. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> now, Nicole Richie is free on $15,000 bond tonight, but that's not the shocking part of the story. The reality TV star was arrested for investigation of driving under the influence in Burbank. Police say they pulled Richie's car over after receiving several reports that her SUV was traveling the wrong way down the freeway. Very dangerous. When officers arrived, they found her car facing the right direction. But the 25-year-old failed a sobriety test and admitted to being under the influence of marijuana and prescription drugs. Even more scandalous, Richie's booking sheet describes her as weighing only 85 pounds. Recently, the 5'1 Richie has come under increasing criticism for being too skinny. The Purple One Prince will headline this year's Super Bowl halftime show. The big game will be held in Miami on February 4th. Organizers have kept things pretty subdued since Janet Jackson's infamous wardrobe malfunction in 2004. But Prince and his management have assured the NFL that his performance will be suitable for all fans. You know, it's old news, but I'm glad we can use his name again. Prince. Prince. Right. <laughs> Not, Not the, the artist formerly whatever, known as yeah, right. Prince. Well, the Bears are in St. Louis under the Monday Night Lights. We'll tell you how they're doing. Plus, the Blackhawks add another piece to the puzzle, and they're hoping he can put a few more pucks in the net. But first, the Bulls taking on their rivals from Indiana will let you know if uh, they've kept their winning ways intact. When I signed up for Vonage, I was able to keep my phone number, and then when I moved, I was able to take it with me. Call quality is the utmost. It projects my business. And with Vonage, it's perfect. Vonage and reliability, that just kind of goes hand in hand. It's just $24.99 a month for unlimited local and long-distance calling. Vonage is a better way to phone for less. Get one month free. Call 1-800-970-7038. Thanks for calling Dell. What can we build for you? Yeah, hi. I'd like to get a computer for my daughter. Okay, great. Let's get started. Okay. 
So how do you think she'll be using it? She's in college now, so writing papers, research, email. You know, a wireless card is a great way for your daughter to work and stay connected. She'd love that. What else? Uh, I know she's into music. Okay, keep going. Oh, and she loves digital photography. Well, Windows XP Media Center will help her organize and enjoy all her digital media. Oh, I need to get her a printer, too. No problem. We have an all-in-one printer that'd be great for her. Fantastic. You're all set. We'll get that right out. Great, thanks. At Dell, you get the computer that's right for you, right from home. Dell, purely you. Get this Inspiron E1505 with Media Direct. Access your movies, music, and pictures with the touch of a button. All powered by Windows XP Media Center Edition. I killed them on my bed. I killed them in the trunk of my car. I killed them right here on the sofa. And I watched. Want to kill odor-causing bacteria? Try Febreze Antimicrobial. It kills 99.9% .9 of odor-causing bacteria on fabrics and leaves a fresh scent so you can get closer to the fabrics you love. Febreze Antimicrobial. Kill them with freshness. I killed them on the bathroom rug and it was really fun. Becker, late nights on Superstation WGA. Paula Sala is a real Geico customer, not an actor. So to help tell her story, we hired that announcer guy from the movies. When the storm hit, both our cars were totally underwater. In a world where both of our cars were totally underwater. We thought it would take forever to get some help. But a new wind was about to blow. With Geico, we had our check in two days. Payback. This time, it's for real. Geico. Real service, real savings. Rich King, I finally got out to United at Center since mm -hmm. Ben Wallace got to town, Big Ben, and let me tell you, it is electric, bulls on fire, even though they lost Saturday night, yeah. that's okay. But they won seven in a row before you got that's there. That's right, right, and they're doing they're great. They're on a roll, huh? back in a roll again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> after their seven-game win streak ended on Saturday, the Bulls got back into action tonight against the Indiana Pacers. After you see the Pacers, one of the many teams in disarray in the Eastern Conference, a pouting Stephen Jackson was kicked off the bench by Rick Carlisle. In their last game at Cleveland, he is suspended for tonight's game. The Bulls also did not have to face the injured Jermaine O'Neal, so they were pumped and ready. Easy pickings in the first quarter. Ben Wallace goes in for the lay-in, and he also gets the foul. And later on, it's Luol Deng with the move, and he gets in there against the defenseless Pacers. They have the home Bulls again to pour it on. As Andres Nocioni on fire all year long to three-point range. Strange one there, Bulls by five. He extended the lead to 15 when Kirk Heinrich goes to work. Goes inside, nice move for the layup. Bulls led 49-34. Pacers offering a little resistance, but Sean Williams did get the jam. They're still down by 17. And the Bulls kept on the pressure. Ben Gordon to Ben Wallace, and he goes in for the layup. Big night for the Bulls. The game's just over, and the Bulls have won. There's the final 106-91 over the 500 mark now. They are 12 and 11. The Bulls another busy, busy week. Four games and six nights on this long homestand, and except for Saturday. It's been a big, big blast. The Blackhawks back at practice today. They are 4-0-1 under Dennis Savard. And they've added some veteran firepower in the lineup. 38-year-old winger Peter Bondra has signed a one-year contract. A five-time All-Star, 498 career goals. The set with leg injuries last year, a free agent rehabbing in Europe. When the Hawks gave him a call, and it was Dennis Savard. Well, there was a couple of other teams talking, but uh, I like what I hear from... Uh... Danny Savard, he called me uh, one of the first guys, and uh, I, I know I play against him, and uh, I know what type of player was he, and it uh, sounds like he's a famous coach, so <laughs> I think it would be a good fit for uh, myself to, uh, to the team. He's a great skater, shooter, you know, he's, he's scored a lot of goals in this league, you know, and he's, he wants to play, that's the thing, you know, the deal that we made with him is, you know, it's not, not about money with him, he wanted to play. All right, as for the Bears, minus Tommy Harris and Nathan Vasher, they are taking on the Rams in St. Louis tonight. We, of course, cannot show you the highlights, but we can show you the score. They're in the third period. Rex Grossman just throwing a touchdown pass moments ago. It's 28-13, or 28-13 to the score. But Rex a lot better. He nailed Bernard Berrien for a 34-yard TD toss. Devin Esther scored the other Bears touchdown earlier on a 94-yard kickoff return, a tying a record with five returns for a TD in the NFL. Thomas Jones, a 30-yard run. And the Bears are in control, 28-13, the update. The NBA eating crow tonight after endless complaints from the players. 
The league is going back to the old leather basketball, right. that microfiber good. ball is out for good. And Freddie Adu been traded in, in soccer from uh, the DC Real, DC United to Real Salt Lake. Now, okay. we got one final thing for your submission. The Bears are playing, but the fans came up with the Super Bowl Shuffle 2006. So <laughs> some of these actors got involved. Give me your vote, Leo. Let's okay. see what's yeah. the, the shuffle. I don't go to church, and I know God understands. I can stay on my couch because God is a fan of the Bears. They are as strong as a legion of heroes when the Super Bowl comes. They'll win 100 to 0. The Bears! They are the Bears, and we are the fans. And when the Super Bowl's done, we're going to the land. The Bears! The Bears! <laughs> I don't know about that. I think they're, uh, now. What do you think? I think they're choreographically challenged. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Musically challenged. I like that. The, the, the light it's, move. That it's was funny. Good, yeah. well, I think it's pretty funny. Well, let's be real. I mean, these bears, this team, we can do better than that. Uh, well, that's yeah. your vote, yeah. I, I, I think so. Speaking of the Bears, Rex Grossman's job may be secure for a while. I think he has had a great night for him. He had a little shaky start, got a touchdown pass to Bernard Gray, a nice pass over the middle. Recently in the second half, he's got a good drive going. Bears running the ball pretty well. I think his job is secure, and I think his job will be secure for the rest of the year because they have Tampa next. That should be an easy win. They go into Detroit. That should be a victory. They wrap up here at the Packers. So I think you'll have Rex Grossman going into the playoffs for the Chicago Bears. Maybe he's got his mojo back. I would hope so. Right. All the pressure is on. That's right. Focus. Thank you, Rich. Thanks. That's the news for this Monday night. I'm Steve Sanders. And I'm Allison Payne for Rich Payne, Tom Skilling, and all of us. Have a great night.